<laughs> Southern Spain is a land famous for its unspoiled villages, breathtaking landscapes, and vibrant culture. But we've come here in search of an ancient earth pigment that dates back long before any of that existed. Back to the Paleozoic era, over 530 million years ago. The Andalusia region of southern Spain is a place of dichotomies. It's both modern and ancient. sensual, and religious. Seville, Andalusia's capital, was established in 1100 BCE by the Phoenicians. change hands over the centuries to include the rule and cultural influence of the Tartesians, Iberians, Romans, Greeks, Visigoths, Moors, and obviously the Spanish. It evolved from a simple trading post to one of the most vibrant cities in Europe, currently boasting a population of over 700,000 people. With hints of that history, like these two Roman columns in the center of town, are everywhere. As the Roman Empire attempted to conquer the known world, they made their way through Spain. We're here at the Roman ruins of Italica, where remnants of that conquest remain. Some of this rock is so pitted and weathered that I can actually get almost my whole arm in it. Italico was the first Roman settlement in Spain. Founded in 206 BC, the settlement was built, as the Romans tended to do, with a fighting arena at its center. Two types of shows were held in this arena, gladiator battles and staged exotic animal hunts. The animal hunts were less popular and took place in the morning, with the main event, the gladiators, taking place in the afternoon. Between the two shows was an intermission, which included burlesque-style performances, acrobatic displays, and the live execution of condemned criminals. There were also religious ceremonies held here, with documented worship of the goddess Hecate. 
Remarkably, some of the tile mosaics that lined the floors of the outlying buildings remain mostly intact. So all over the world, there are cases where different types of mining have unearthed the iron in the soil that gets introduced to the waterways. And while it's not an unnatural pollution, it does kill all the animals and the wildlife. So we're here to find the Rio Tinto, the Tinted River, full of red iron oxide, which is an amazing earth pigment, the most common earth pigment. When we typically think of mining, we think of something more modern, but these mines date back to the Phoenicians, the pre-Romans. The ruined structures of the mining operation at Rio Tinto were like something out of a Zorro movie. each new culture building on the industrial architecture and the mining technology of the last. To reach the accessible parts of the river, we had to board an old, loud, and very rickety train. Although not very conducive to filming, it was an informal museum of the machinery used in more recent iterations of mining, as well as the glimpse into the ancient, where the landscape itself had been stripped clean and kept that way for 2,500 years, leaving a barren rainbow of rusty red, orange, yellow, and white. The further we went, we began to see glimpses of the river itself through the trees and then more than just glimpses. This is it. This is what we came all the way to the Andalusia region, the, uh, the Rio Tinto, the Tinted River in southern Spain. This is what we came for, the red iron oxide. Absolutely beautiful.
Andalusia region of southern Spain at the Minas de Rio Tinto. And the river itself runs red because of iron oxide, but this whole landscape is a rainbow of color. started with white, but quickly realized that it was nothing more than chalk and wouldn't make for a good paint pigment. If you saw my reaction to the green pigment we collected in our Faro Portugal video, <laughs> you'll know that there are certain earth colors that are much harder to find than others. So as I was digging the chalky white out of the ground, I was beyond excited to see what looked like a mound of purple in the distance. But this purple was not going to go without a fight. Oh God. That's solid. Okay, it's literally breaking my rock. <laughs> Alright, we're trying to get purple pigment, but I think it's a fail. Luckily, we found more just a few yards away. Try to dig down past uh, the hard rock get to the softer kind of soil that's been turned the same color but it's a very cool color of purple volcanic earth purple yeah and actually if you can see the deeper you go the more purple it gets it's almost gray on top but the deeper we dig the more purple we get because you can see look at that rock compared to that rock we obviously couldn't leave the Red River without red pigment. With the amount of water we would have had to collect to filter out enough oxide and make paint pigment would have been astronomical. Luckily, the iron-rich earth that creates that color was everywhere. The paintings I created from our time in Andalusia are not only infused with the raw pigments I collected, but with the rich culture and extraordinary people of Seville. The deep history of the ruins at Italica. time spent in the 2,500 year old mines at Rio Tinto. Those paintings are available on my website.